Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, The Gentleman Reviewer. As always, thank you to those who are watching and continue to watch. Um, and if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so right on the bottom right. Help my channel to continue to grow and uh, see when I post new reviews. So as I was looking back at some of my recent reviews, I noticed that I hadn't done a stationary case for a while. The last one, I don't know the exact time, but it was definitely more than a couple weeks ago. And since well before then, I've had this guy living at the bottom of my Osprey Tropos. So I figured it was about time to do something other than a pencil or a pen and get to something that we all love in the stationary world, a, a stationary case, something that we can put a bunch of pens in. Um, and this is one that I've had for a couple of months now. And ever since I got it, it's been living at the bottom of my backpack. So. Oddly enough, it stood up pretty well. So, Nomadic is a company based out of Japan that's known for producing high quality, well organized bags and cases that perfectly fit an on the go lifestyle. This one has definitely been durable. I mean, you can see there's basically no signs of wear on it pretty much anywhere. I can't even find or remember if I ever found a loose thread on any of the stitchings or any of the seams. So, and like I said, it's been living at the bottom of my backpack where I've got a um, pad folio that I take in and out all the time and a Light Hit Lab Smart Fit notebook cover that sits on top of it quite often. You can actually, if you look at my All Steel line for Zebra 7, All Steel, the Series 7, sorry, um, the X701, which I kept in this case, the paint actually wore off of it because it was sitting in here getting smushed all the time and just having a bunch of pens rub up against it and yet the case itself doesn't have any wear on it so this is when i first purchased this i was kind of bummed at how big it was um, i had mostly used smaller pen cases that have a bit more organization ability not my coco you will but um the Light Hit Lab Smart Fit, I forget what it's called right now, but the one that folds, uh, you, you could have quite a bit of organization and quite a bit of protection on that. And, you know, this is just one giant, op like, giant opening that can fit a ton of pens in it. And it's just kind of bulky. It holds up to 40 to 45 pens, depending on how slim they are. I think that's the total capacity between this front pocket and the main compartment. I haven't tried to fit 40 pens in there, but as you can see, I think I have 22 total, and there's still a good bit of room for more. So I could probably fit at least 10 good sized pens in there. Obviously that's gonna vary depending on if you've got pens with a case on them, that's gonna take up a bit more space. I've got two of them in there like that. And then stuff like, oh, I can't find it right now. Oh, stuff like my PM701, which is quite a bit more thick than the other ones, and you can see it's wearing off the paint there, like I said in the review. So as you saw right there, one of the biggest downsides to a pencil case of this design is you have to dig around for your pens. So I'll usually end up grabbing the whole handful, pulling it out, and then having to look for whatever pen it is that I happen to be looking for. Um, so not very great at organization, but you're definitely gonna be able to fit everything in there possible. Um, I mean, if you can get over that and you're okay digging for stuff, definitely great. You're, like I said, you're just gonna be able to hold everything that you want in there. And it does have this little mesh bag that I just keep a little flare for a narwhal as the unicorn of the sea in there. It's more of a joke between me and some friends. But um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's the only feature of that. You can also see in here, even if you've got pens digging around in it, there's not that, I can see and really see on the video there's not really anywhere in there I don't know how this would hold up to getting ink stains on it yet because I have yet to have it happen but you know it's gonna happen eventually so this is a zipper closing case so it's nice and quiet if you're in class there's a little um, clasp right here to I don't know exactly what that's for um, but it keeps the edge of the zipper from coming undone. I guess that's so it'll open more fully and equally on each side. One thing that a reviewer did mention online is that the hole right there, she's had pens fall out of that. I held this pen upside down and like shook 
um, nothing's falling out, that doesn't mean it won't happen because a pen will definitely fit through there. If I just have like a big stick, it will definitely come right out. But it seems like there's enough friction in there to keep things in for the most part, but I can see if it's overstuffed, the pen's gonna come out of there a bit more easily. So this does have a smaller front compartment for often used pens. And you know, naturally I've got one of my favorite pens, the Zebra Sarasa Grand in there. I've said in multiple reviews that that's my favorite. I tend to keep I'm probably going to review these as my next disposable pens, and so I tend to keep ones that I want quick access to in there. It can hold five to seven, depending on the size of pens that you're putting in there. Um, and I mean, if you're okay getting it overstuffed, you can definitely fit seven in there, or if you have thinner pens, you're going to be able to fit more in there naturally. I usually get about five in there. The last feature on this case is a Velcro flap, which leads to organization compartment. So you can hear right there, that's pretty loud. If you're in class and want to keep things quiet, that can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, but in here, you're going to be able to keep quite a bit more um, smaller items and keep it a bit more organized as well. So you can see I've got four different kinds of pencil lead over here. I've got two different kinds of erasers with five packs. I've got nice big pieces of lead in there, two millimeter lead for um, one of my clutch, not really a clutch style pencil, but something along those lines. I've got some ink cartridges here, which I actually don't need, and some smaller items such as some smaller erasers. I actually forget what that's for. I should probably look around for that. Um, but a uh, another lead sharpener, and just some paper clips, like my favorite style, fountain pen nib paper clips. So in this, you've got five compartments and then one bigger one. Here is great for things like smaller rulers, protractors, scissors, lead, um, and you can, whatever you, whatever you might be carrying that's a bit smaller will fit in there pretty easily. Um, and again, it's just, it's durable. I mean, I, like I said, even in here, I can't find any loose threads. Maybe right there is the closest I've ever found, but that's just the end of some piece of thread. The biggest downside I think is that Velcro, the really loud Velcro when it opens up. So the pen itself is constructed out of sturdy nylon according to Jet Pens. This is of the ripstop variation. You can see it's got a checkered pattern so if it does tear or get punctured it's not going to spread and just completely ruin your case. So if you get a tear on the bottom, for example, it's not just going to travel across the whole bottom and then all your pens are going to be everywhere. Um, in terms of dimensions, it's 4.5 centimeters or 1.8 inches in depth. I think that's talking about the width right here. Um, it's got a length of 21.9 centimeters or 8.6 inches. And it says width of 12.7 centimeters or 4.7 inches. Um, I think that's talking about that height, so depth going into the pen. It's fairly light. I couldn't get measurements on the weight from anywhere that I could find, um, but given it's completely made of nylon, except for a couple metal pieces like the zippers and whatnot, it's very light, and I love how durable it is. Again, it's been living at the bottom of my backpack, and no signs of wear at all. So you can find these things in six different colors. I'll get that pulled up here in a minute. Um, and you know, the inside's gonna vary a little bit based off of the color of the outside. And the, it's coming in at a price of about $15 on most websites. Jet Pens has it for $14 um, for all their variations, actually. They're all $14. And I found it on Amazon for $35. So I mean, if you shop around, you'll definitely be able to find it for a good price. So you can get this in light blue. This one is the navy edition. You can get, also get it in black, light pink, light green, and red. I don't have the type colors of the inside, but I tend to go with blue or black and decided to go with obviously navy, navy blue on this one. So I've really enjoyed using this despite my initial hesitations about having a much larger pencil case. I've enjoyed being able to have quite a bit of pens with me that I can just pull out at any time. Um, and then be able to hold some of the ones with me that I'm going to be reviewing shortly, but I'm not carrying them with me at the time because I tend to carry fountain pens and don't always like carrying the disposable ones because um, I like having easy access to my fountain pens, of course.
So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or uh, tweet it to me or something like that. And as always, thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button. Thank you all.